Good morning. I am just about ready to do my makeup and my hair for the day and get ready. I wanted to do like a fun little girly vlog, share like my glimpse into my morning routine during the week and also um, have some like fun girly things to share with you guys in this video. So I feel like it was like long overdue and I'm gonna start my makeup. I actually got some new things in to try from, I just placed an online order from Sephora and they came, the items came in. I already used one of them. Actually, no, I did use two out of the four. Primer. Do you guys do morning skincare? Like comment below because I, I feel like I need to be doing morning skincare now and I just don't because I have very dry skin and I've been told in the past like oh if you have dry skin like don't wash your face in the morning because it's just going to dry it out more but I feel like maybe I still should and maybe do like a light routine I need to like start doing that because my skin has been so horribly dry this winter it just every winter it does this foundation this right here you guys I can't believe it took me so long to do to use oh my gosh my humidifier right there started going off I guess I didn't shut it off completely this thing has a mind of its own humidifier by the way is like one of my favorite purchases also great if you have like sinus issues dry skin it still like really helps um, and I like that I could throw like the tank in the dishwasher and you replace the filters so it does like if it gets so it doesn't like, get moldy and gross this foundation you guys so but it really does live up to the hype okay foundation is on you guys this stuff will last on your skin all day long it just it just totally is worth the price um and i'm in the shade four this also so good for correcting if you have dark circles I'm using my viewfinder as a because it is so dreary out today it is like misty and cloudy and the weather is just not it i want it to be spring so badly that's my favorite season are you guys like cold weather girlies or are you warm weather girlies i am definitely a warm weather girly and that's where i thrive in the warm weather <laughs> I definitely do not like this freezing cold weather like this, but it's supposed to get warmer tomorrow though. This is not concealer, it's just the corrector that you put right before concealer. I'm opening up a new concealer I'm trying out. Um, and some, like I had someone say, do I have a full routine? And I actually haven't done what I realized in a long time. I got the tiny one to try. I think this is the tiny one, unless this is the size it comes in. Okay, anyway, this is the Hourglass Concealer. It was highly recommended. And what's the reason I'm doing a new concealer because my favorite Cover FX one, they're discontinuing it. So I really want to start the coloring looks about right. It's applying this Dior one, which I love. It's a little, you can see the color differences. Like this is a little bit more my skin tone. So what I've been doing is adding this just like on the outer part of my eye and then in the inner I do like the brighter so then they kind of just like blend together and brighten. <laughs> this looks absolutely crazy. Concealer is blended. Love, by the way, that new concealer. I'll link it up. That is really, really nice. Okay, so I want to try. This just came in the mail. It's the cream. This is the Patrick Top. So I've been seeing his TikToks. They've just been coming up in my For You page. I'm like, okay, this is just, is this telling me that I need this? Because I saw the results on how he did like a bunch of people's makeup and it just looks so good. So I used the blush. I got that earlier. Um, the blush, spoiler alert, is so good. I'll show you guys how I use it. It's really, really nice. I've been looking for like a new blush. I mean, of course, I love my Dior blush, but like I was just looking for something a little bit of different tones. And this is gorgeous. Um, she's blushing. It's so good. And I will show you guys how I use it. It's amazing. And so now I'm really excited to try. This is the Contour Duo. I got the shade She's Sculpted cream right here and then it has the powder right here and it has like a little flap over the cream which i do appreciate so that you don't get all like the powder product in the cream which is nice so let's see 
gotta clean up this mess. I usually put um, powder under my eyes, but I don't know. I heard like you have to mix the powder and the cream like that. Maybe I should do the cream first. I don't know. Let's try this out. I have my new favorite pajamas. I got these for Christmas. They say, okay, I have to stand up and show you. You guys know my obsession with Palm Beach literally my favorite place and these pajamas were in collaboration i think colony did a collaboration with this pajama company and it says the colony a lot it's like if you guys want like that palm beach vibe are these softest pajamas i've ever owned i promise you they are so good um they're pima cotton i think so i they have a solid pink pair too that i've been eyeing now because i just love the material the best quality material pajamas like you will not be i could promise you you will not be disappointed with this material it is so soft like well worth the price and they're just like an investment piece because they like wash so well i've already worn these a ton and washed them a ton and they just are amazing but rep in the colony my favorite favorite place let's see how this is doing let's figure i'll figure this out and i'll show you guys what it looks like added the cream bronzer i think it looks really natural i'm gonna top it with the bronzer in just a second i'm just gonna set my under eye powder or under eyes with this powder and then i just use my triangular pop so i just let this sit in the meantime i will do the bronzer okay totally sold on this bronzer Wait you guys see the blush. It's so good. I'll also show you guys how I'm doing my hair recently when I want to curl up the curling iron. I have been doing, usually this is three different things I do with my hair as of the past few months. And there was one thing as of recently. Here's the blush duo, like I said, by the way. So I'm going to start off with the powder first. That's what they say to do first. So that's what I did the other day. It worked perfectly. It literally lasted from morning till night until I had to take it off. So that's how much it stayed. But um, what I was saying is about my hair. I do three different techniques. Number one, which is my favorite. This is all gonna get blended by the way. Is um, doing my Dyson Air Up. That is like, if I have the time and the energy, it's gonna be the Dyson Air Wrap. That is, I find the best curls that will last. I found a way to get them to last like literally like three days. And like, it'll be like soft curls by day three, but like it, the blowout will last itself. So that is like three to four days, depending if it's like, if it's a rainy week, then it's not gonna, it's, I don't end up even doing, wasting my time with the Dyson because I just know that it's gonna, on camera, this looks harsh. Yeah, Dyson Airwrap would be my number one pick if I had to do my hair for, like if I wanted curls, it'd be Dyson Airwrap. Second now is um, my heatless curling, whatever you want to call it, that little heatless curls rod. It's not really a rod. I have it right here. Um, this thing, this has been amazing. I got it couple weeks ago and i love this thing i did it i show how i used it in my or i showed how the curls came out this is like little scrunchies it comes in this bag i got it from amazon for literally under like i think ten dollars i just put it in this pouch but i did this like three times i think now and so far this has been this has been the best i had so i ordered this one it just doesn't work this silky one it doesn't work for me. It curls just literally don't even in five minutes of putting it in, it just falls right out. But um, so yeah, that though, that like velvety one that I found, so good. And that the curls only last you'll have a good hair day for like one day, but then the next day when you want to do your hair, it is just totally straight for me. So it's just like one of those things, like if it's late at night and you want, you know, you have to wake up early the next morning and you want to put yourself together, but you don't have the time or energy. That is like then my go-to because I know I'm going to have like polished hair. It's going to be curls. It's not quite as voluminous and bouncy as a Dyson, but it, you still look really, it looks really good. And um, so if you like are, you know, getting up early for work or whatever you need to do, or you're a busy mom, or you just don't want to take your time to do your hair, or you want to do heatless, because it maybe if you're not wanting to put Dyson Airwrap heat on your hair, um, 
or a curling iron, then you know, do the Amazon heatless curls. I'll link mine below. It's so good. Uh, that's really good. So that's like my second choice. And then third, which I'm doing today, because I literally just want to have the like one night sleep. Even though that heatless curl thing to sleep in is really not that bad, but I just wanted to have a night where I just didn't have my Dyson Airwrap curls pinned in or anything. Um, I just wanted to have, you know, a night. But I also have the humidifier going, and so like my hair is straight today. So I need to do, this is my third way, which is just my clamp curls, but I'll add Velcro rollers. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. I almost forgot my setting powder all over. This blurring powder, literally Instagram filter for your face. I should have really put that on before. But what messed me up was that cream bronzer. I like forgot about it because I didn't want to put powder on my face. This will like soften everything. You guys, this will last all day because of the cream and powder duo. It's gonna stay put. Eyes, okay, no joke. This new eye gel I just got. This is another thing I got new. So good if you want that like brow freeze. I was just filming and I realized it wasn't recording, but you could see this brow gel kind of brings my brows upward. It kind of freezes them. And I love that look. It just makes them a little bit fluffier. And I love this stuff so much. And again, my brows are put in place. I already also, I don't know if I said I filled in my brows with this brow pencil from Rare Beauty. Um, I'm in the shade actually, and it looks dark. So I go lighter. If you're, if you have darker hair, go like a shade or two lighter than your hair color. This is rich taupe, which is like, you would think it would be more for like a dirty blonde or something color, but this is definitely like good. It's dark enough for me. So, um, Next, I'm gonna prime my eyes, but I think I'm gonna use, I'm between two different eyeshadow palettes. I usually use this Dior, like you can see how much I use it, but I've been loving this the past few months. It is the um, Dibs palette, and I love the colors in it. It's a really good everyday shade. Um, I usually go in with this color right here, all over the lid. I guess we'll do that today. I'm just gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna take these, this middle color at the top, bottom left, mix the two, and put it in my crease. Okay, just finished my eyeliner mascara. Um, so I, these are like my favorites. And I'm trying to decide on lip. I'll show you guys my lip drawer. Ignore the mess that is my vanity right now. I need to clean this up, but when I'm filming, I like, there, I have to find new places for these actually, but this is one of my makeup drawers. I have my other uh, foundations and stuff in here. And I'm trying to decide. This is all my lip products in here. And I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to go with this lip liner. Put these away. This is the mascara that I love. I think it's like right around $10 only. So good. But let's do... Oh, I got this new lip gloss from Sephora. So I want to try this. Glaze. I heard it was like low toxin. So excited to try that. Um, but let's do this combo. My Dibs lip liner, the Pat McGrath lipstick, and we'll try this gloss. We'll see how that is. Okay, I have the lip liner and lipstick on. This is before the gloss. Let's see how this smells. Oh my gosh, it smells like candy. It smells so good. Okay, let's see. Doesn't feel like sticky or anything. Literally like butter. So I literally don't even know the brand. I got in a duo. I gave the other shade to my mom. So um, I'm gonna do my hair next. Okay, time for hair. This is like, this is third day hair. Okay, so I'm gonna part my hair down the middle. I have my Velcro rollers using this curling iron with the clamp and just sectioning off the bottom. I do the each side into thirds. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible because I'm running a little late because I have so much to do today. You guys, I spent so much time yesterday on my, you're new here, I have an online boutique and shop Karen Rose, 
We're doing new arrivals right now, actually, for Valentine's Day. So I'll be showing you guys everything. And then I just planned out the spring. Okay, the spring. So good. A few of the things did not get um, shipped in time to me. There weren't exactly like Valentine. Those pieces weren't exactly Valentine's. So I may just put those into the spring launch clipping up with I do the bottom I don't put the bottom section in velcro rollers because there's just too much hair for me with my extensions I have like Not even I have two rows of extensions but the one row is like only like this like wide of a strip in the bottom it's like barely anything so I technically have like one row of extensions in just for volume up actually my hair is officially longer than the extensions they actually had to cut my hair to match the extension length because it was my hair was too long. Hair is brushed out because if your hair is not brushed like completely, it's gonna tangle up in that Velcro roller. I just clamp like usual, like you saw me do the other curls. These Velcro rollers that I have in particular have a thermal layer, so they actually retain the heat a little bit more. They will make it bouncier and just like the curls hold a lot better with those kind of Velcro rollers. So. I love these and I got all different sizes. I'll use like the smaller ones in the front of my head. So I'll let this sit in my hand for a second. And then I'll quickly, while it's still hot, you wanna roll all the way to the bottom and then roll this up like so. And then I will just add like, either a bobby pin or like one of these clips. Since this is a bigger one, I'll just use one of those. So I'm going to go through the rest of my head and I'll show you guys. Okay, all done. I'm going to let this set. I'm going to finish up the rest of my morning routine. Usually at this point, once I did my hair, I would get dressed for the day. But since I am going to be like trying some things on for you guys, I might as well not even get dressed yet until I try this stuff on. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to do my little 10 to 15 minute meditation and reading. And I usually like to read the Bible. That's what I've been starting off my days with lately. And um, it's just, I truly love taking, just like take 10 to 15 minutes, no matter whatever you want to meditate, do some breathing exercises for the day. It really sets off your day on the right foot and like sets the tone for the day, I feel like. And I feel like it's been so important. I try to do that as much as I can especially like during the weekday. I also now at this point, I think I have to post my Instagram, yeah. I'm gonna post my morning Instagram post. I'm trying to post every single morning. So today I'm going to post my little haul video. So I'm gonna post that and then I like to do some engagement and answer any comments. Um, so I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit here for a second. Oh, I was just working on putting some listings on the camera site for the new arrivals. And I figured I would try them on. It's just like a mini launch, like really small Valentine's collection. I figured I would do some really darling pieces that you guys could wear that are like a mixture of cozy, good even everyday basics, and then something dressy. So like I have this dress, it's so pretty. It's a like neutral tweed and has the most darling scallop shoulder detail. I'll try it on. I have this matching set. This is a tank top and then it has the matching sweater and then this heart sweater. So I'm gonna finish my hair and try these on for you guys. Hoping you wouldn't change me. You got the same old thoughts be my referee. I will be all right. Never could it bite. But somehow you make me change. Like I'm better off. From this, it's insane. I love these curls. It's just like an easy, voluminous kind of blowout look. I have to spray it with hairspray. Okay, just sprayed my hair. 
and I feel like it's gonna fall definitely a little bit, but I really like the way that it turned out. Okay, here is the first dress from the Karen Rose Valentine's mini collection. This dress is so darling with the scallop sleeve and then it also has the scallop bottom hemline. It has a tiny bit of like a, a very subtle sheen, like not even really metallic. It's just like a shimmery thread running throughout. It is so pretty, kind of hard to tell on camera, um, but it's very subtle in person. And I love, I love this neutral. It is very, very classy, very Chanel vibes. And I'm wearing the size small. I'm normally like an extra small in dresses. So under the arm on me, especially since I'm smaller chested, it's a little like slight gapping on the side, but my arm covers it. So you can't really see, but otherwise I'd say true to size. If you're normally a small, I think the small would fit fine um, and so on. And then I just styled it with my Amazon pearl heels and a pink bag, but this would be so cute to wear for Valentine's Day or really um, even any time in winter, you could layer a long sleeve blouse underneath if you wanted to. That would be super cute. Also wear it with tights. Um, but I think it's so cute. Even transitioning in the spring, this would look so cute in spring with the scallops. Okay, this right here may just be my two top favorites. Um, it's so hard to pick a favorite, but this is up there. Um, I love the Heart Pointel Dusty Rose. This is a cardigan. They're also they're both sold separately. And then the tank. So you could mix and match. You could just get the tank if you wanted to and put it with like a different color cardigan. Um, or you could just get the cardigan and pair it with like on top of a dress. Um, it's really cute. So this is a set you could totally wear all even through spring. And even I would wear this tank in summer. So this is uh, a great transitional piece. Um, this is definitely giving Love Shack fancy vibes, um, but it is so pretty. I love the hearts. So precious and I love the dusty pink um, sizing. So in the tank, I would say it runs like I'm normally an extra small. I'd say the small kind of fits like an extra small-ish, but it has like tons of stretch. So like if you have a fuller chest, then I think it would totally work fine. So um, all my extra small girlies who normally can't do smalls, I think this actually would work um, just because it's a little bit more fitted. Um, but I'd say I'll still say pretty true to size. If you're in between and not sure, then size up. And then on the cardigan, I'd say pretty true to size again, but if you're in between and not sure, then I would consider sizing up unless you like it like really fitted to the arms where there's like, it's just very super fitted, then I would do regular size. But if you're in between and not sure, I would size up. Um, but it's so cute. I mean, I could probably even do like the medium if I wanted to in this cardigan, um, just because I like my clothes a little, a little bit more looser and oversized because I like that little bit more casual vibe. But if you, it just depends on the look you wanna go for. And I just styled it with jeans and my mules and my heart jewelry, which I forgot to show you guys earlier. This goes like with the dress I wore in the first one. And then um, I think these are on sale right now. I think I was looking through my emails. I think these are on sale today. So if you've had this on your wish list, um, check it out. It's like a pearl heart. It's not from Karen Rose, but I will link all the outfit details below. And last but certainly not least is this cozy heart cardigan. I have it buttoned and worn kind of like as a pullover, but I have a I have a cami underneath. But it's so cute and cozy, very soft, not itchy or scratchy, which is so important. And I love just the scattered hearts throughout. This would be so great to wear if you have like a Valentine's brunch or just leading up to Valentine's Day or even any time in winter. I think this is really cute and cozy to wear, um, especially if you're a teacher. I think this would be so cute to wear even with like jeans or dress pants, depending on your dress code. And I love the soft neutrals, but I'm wearing the small slash medium and it's just like an oversized fit, but I think it runs true to size. Okay, now this is not a hair rose anymore. I wanted to try on some girly PJs I just got in. I just did a reel unboxing them, but I wanted to actually like try them on with you guys. So this is the first set, so cute with the pink and then the red hearts. And then it has the um, shorts with the little tie-waisted detail. These are adorable. I love these. Okay, this thermal sleep shirt, so cute and comfy. I love the little V-neck and I love a good sleep shirt moment. They're just easy to just throw on there. So nice. This material feels really good quality. It's really um, comfy. And I'd say run true to size. I'm wearing the extra small. I'd say pretty true to size. And I love the like hot pink hearts. It's really cute. And then it has like a light pink background, but this came in like tons of other colors and prints too. Okay, this sleep dress is beyond. 
It is beyond. I love it so much. It's a floral. It feels like silk. I don't think it is though. It is so pretty. It has this like heart lacy detail and then like I mean, it is a little bit pricier than the other pieces that I was sharing, but this does reflect the quality of how it feels. So um, it is really, really gorgeous. It has like an invisible zipper in the back. You can see the back, but there's like a lace of detail on the back. It's so cute. So this is like one of my top favorites. Of course, it's giving like Love Shack vibes. It's really pretty. Okay, how adorable is this set? This is a ditzy floral and it has a heart pointel detail. It is really pretty. So the model on the website, I was like, I was fine with it even if it was gonna be cropped, but it shows the model stomach. So I thought it was gonna be like more of a crop, but it's really not on me. Um, so I was actually even happier about it just cause it's like, I like a little bit of a longer tank and the pants kind of like are higher rise. So I sized up in this as I was worried it was gonna run a little bit small. So I sized up to a small, I'm glad I did. So I suggest just sizing up one from your regular and then here's the other set in the short sleeves with the shorts. So cute. Again, same fabric and everything, just a different silhouette. Okay, it is a few hours later. I got involved with some work stuff and I wanted to do this project with you guys. We'll actually now show you guys the finished project because this has been something I've been wanting to do um, for quite some time in my closet to make like an organized system. So I wanted to make a purse station. So what I mean by that is like, uh, it would encourage me to like change out my bags much, first of all, like more often and much easier. So I wanted a little drawer in here of all the purse essentials um, like that I could ever need. You know, not that I use all of this stuff all the time in my bag, but just depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing that day, I would pack my bag and I have this little station of all these essentials and I'll like do a little tour of everything, but um, I have this one and then I just, I've ha kind of had this one of all the other essentials. So let's start off. Actually, we'll just do this drawer. So I got like this like thinner drawer. These are my Ikea units, by the way. And I have the pack system. I still have yet to do the other side. That is another project. But yeah, this is where I have this like all set up here. I have this little cabinet with clothing. Still have to do the handles. I did not get to that yet. Um, I've been kind of like doing other home projects and putting this one off for a while. So anyways, I have this thin drawer and in here I kind of just have like sunglasses. So in here I have, well, these are like some of my most worn ones. And then this is like an Amazon case. I could link all these essentials. Um, these are just some of my sunnies. Um, I just got in these cuties. Those are really cute. And this ring keeps falling off. My hands are cold. My ring slide off. Um, okay, so next I have these little like linen. This is essentially what I wanted for the other drawers too. So I may switch out those eventually, but um, I love these like linen things and they had like little dividers in them for jewelry, but I took the dividers out. They just pop right out and then they're just little trays. So they just go like that. And I have two of them. Actually I have three of them because there's this one here for this in here and i have little pouches this i love and then i have like little key pouches in here and little this is like a sun hat holder and then this is a little keychain and then these are just like key pouches and then i have like mini wallets i really i don't even know do i have any full-size walls i don't think so I don't really carry any full size wallets anymore. And then next drawer is my, the other one I was just showing you guys. So these are all the handbag essentials and I also have all my pouches, well, pretty much all my pouches in here. I still have in here some like large pouches and stuff and then flat pouches. And then in here I have all like my fannies. Um, oh, I forgot about this other mini. I have to add that in actually. Um, so anyways, so back here I have like some of my minis and I have these other pouches. These are like all my small pouches. And then I started, I added these drawer organizers. These are from Walmart. And so in this first one, I just have like a sunglasses holder. I'm missing the other one. I had a white one. And then pill cases and then this like mini notebook, which is really cute. So that's the first one. And then in the second one, I have in this tray sanitizers. So this is my, where is it? 
my homemade one, which has this cover on it, but you could take the cover off and just have it like a white, you know, it's, it's supposed to be just like these touch lands. Here, I'll show you guys. Oh, this actually is the one. So this is my homemade one that I added. I don't even know where the bottle is. I had it somewhere. But they're just supposed to be like these Touchland ones. You can see the profile is pretty similar. And I just added my own from Honest Beauty. If you want like a lower toxin one. And these are like really expensive. So I just started doing that as of Christmas. And I love it. I mean, I do love my Touchland. They are really cute too. But if you're looking for, you know, once in a while an alternative or something different, they come like this in different colors. This is the pink one. I didn't fill this one up yet. And it has like a little key ring you could put in your purse, which is really cute. They came in like a six pack on Amazon. This is like a sanitizer keychain from Touchland. And then I have just like an extra one. Oh my gosh, my ring. I better just take it off. It keeps falling off. Um, this Touchland is just the extra that I had. In here, I ordered these pens off of Amazon. They came like individually wrapped, so I just figured I'll keep them that way for now. And then I also have some hair clips and hair ties. You know, long hair girlies especially know if you need you need that in your purse. So I just wanted everything in like one section, even though I have my scrunchies also in another section of my hair, like drawer in my vanity, but I wanted another section of stuff. So I just have like lip balms in here because usually then I just keep my regular lipsticks in my actual vanity. But you know, it's nice to have a, well I do have this mini Charlotte Tilbury in here for like my purse. This is a little mirror. This is a sewing kit I showed you guys in my Amazon favorites. So in case I ever wanted to like pack that in my purse, it's there and ready to go. I also have this flosser thing. There are floss picks in here. And you essentially just pop this open like that in it dispenses it and then these are little tissue packs i found these on amazon too aren't they so cute in the pink so they just open like that so i have some of those they came in like a big pack so those are in there i have some hand creams and that's like my powder puff that i have for travel another hand cream and then uh perfumes i have um this is my favorite Lay Labos. I have my Love Shack Fancy ones in there. And then also I just got this in a refill on my fave Baccarat Rouge 540. And then, oh, let's see. This is like a little Amazon case, kind of like a Sony Clover. And then this just has like cough drops in it. Um, so I just put them all in this like little case. Oh, I already showed you guys that stuff. So yeah, that's my handbag station here. So what I want to do is just like set my bag here and at the end of the day, just empty it all. And then I should probably get like a little garbage can for like receipts and stuff I want to throw away. So it's like, you know, so I don't leave anything laying around. And then that way I just set my bag up here and I could either unpack my bag or for the day if I want to pack my bag, then I have it all in one spot. I'm just like trying to like, Make everything a lot more seamless in my life and i feel like this is gonna make it a lot easier so i'm really happy about it it's the rest of the drawers i just have like sweats and stuff this is all like clothing so but i just made these top two kind of like more you know stuff like this random things so that's my little purse station tour